Good morning, family. Good to see everybody there. Um, if you're wondering where I'm at, I am covering for Pastor Miller at the Heights Church, and I'm preaching over there this morning. But I was going to leave you without a sermon. So I'm here to give you some words of encouragement and help you throughout your week that you can have some scripture and be fed. So um, let's get started right, and let's get started with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for the awesome opportunity that we have to be here and to proclaim the name of Jesus. Dear Lord, we just ask you to open our spiritual eyes, ears, and hearts to be receptive to this word and to this message, that we can use this message in our everyday lives. Dear Lord, just be with me and use me as a mouthpiece today that it can be used for your honor and for your glory. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you're doing. We thank you, Jesus, for all that you're about to do. In Jesus' sweet, blessed name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, we go through so much. I've gone through a week this week. I've experienced a lot of just hard-hitting things from cars from house, unexpected things in the mail, bills, life hits us. It hits us all the time. We experience, <coughs> excuse me, troubles, trials, problems, issues. We can have them in our family. We can have them with our relationships. We can have them at work. We can have issues with our children. The list is endless. It seems like everywhere we can turn, there's an issue, there's a problem, and especially, we can even let those issues and problems drag us down, wear us out, just take the life out of us. But we're not going to let that happen because we have a Savior and because we have Jesus and because we have His Word. And it strengthens us in every moment, every issue, everything that comes our way, we proclaim Him. And when we proclaim Him, we don't fall. We can stand firm. And when sometimes the heat seems to turn up and you seem that you are in your fires, your fiery troubles, fiery problems, all those things, you can get through it with God's word. Now today, I'm going to ask you to turn in your Bibles. Yes, graphics in your Bibles. And it's okay. You can. Yes. Yeah. Have a good time. You got to have a good time in church. It's all right. Well, as you're turning there, we're going to talk a little bit about Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. They've had their own troubles and trials. Let me give you a little backdrop of what was happening at that time. King Nebuchadnezzar, he erected a huge golden statue. And what he did was, when everybody was assembled together at his command... He would have everybody get together all around the golden statue and he would have a symphony play. It had harps, guitars, flutes, everything. And when it played, his decree was that everyone bow down and worship the golden image. But one thing, one thing. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego knew God's word. And by that, they were not going to bow down and worship any other God but the one true God. Well, the king, Nebuchadnezzar, knew Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. He had favor upon them. But of course, when the music played, everyone bowed down except Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. They stood standing. They did not worship the golden image that was set before everybody else. And of course, there was people going to tell on them and said, Hey, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, they did not bow down. The king was distressed. He called them up. He had them brought. He asked why. How come? And they said, Because we're not going to bow down and worship any other gods but our God. This made the king so furious that he had the fiery furnace turned up seven times hotter. 
He says, okay, I'm going to give you one more chance. And he had all the instruments play. And of course, everyone bowed down and worshipped, except Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. They stood firm. Now, in our everyday lives, we experience things, we experience troubles, problems, but you know what? We need to stand up and stand on God's word. We have his word that strengthens us every single day. We have his promises. We hide his word within our heart that we may not sin against God. Every day we hear these scriptures when we come to church. If you have a Bible app, or if you watch on television, or if you listen on the radio, you hear encouraging scriptures that are given at church, on Christian radio, on Christian broadcasts, even here, you'll hear scriptures that are encouraging. It's time for you to hold on to that promise, hold on to that word, and know that you can stand firm through those troubles and trials. For us that are believers, when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, the blood of Christ was shed for the full remissions of your sins and your white as snow. You're white as snow. You can stand before God. Well, I love to show illustrations and examples. Being on TV, no different. TV needs to be entertaining, so I'm going to entertain you today. This is a towel. It's white. Practically brand new. Looks good. White as snow. Well, one thing that I want to show you is, is that when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, it takes away all of our sins. Reason why? John 3.16, God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believeth on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That truth right there, when we accept him, white as snow. Now, when you have troubles, when you have trials, when you have problems, when you have issues, it seems like the devil loves to pour things on you. He loves to make your life miserable. He loves to give you problems, troubles, trials, issues, all these things. He loves to pour things on top of you. He loves to make your life miserable. And he will try every day to make your life very miserable. And he'll even bring circumstances and issues your way but you got to stand on God's word. Stand on his word. Fire. It's always good for television. Stand on his word and know that you can trust the Lord. And with that, you saw that it was on fire. You could still be white as snow. You can still be white. You can go through the flame. You can go through the trouble. You can go through the trial. And you can go through unsinged. Unsinged. The scripture says a lot here. And I want to go through the scripture with us. Hopefully you've turned there. Twenty two says, therefore, because the king commanded was urgent that the furnace be exceedingly hot. The flame of the fire killed the men who took Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell bound into the midst of the fiery furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished. He was astonished. He arose in haste and spoke, saying to his counselor, did we not cast three into the midst of the fire? They answered and said to the king, True, O king. Look, he answered, I see four men loosed. Walking in the midst of the fire, they were not hurt. And the form of the fourth 
is like the Son of God. When you're in the midst of your fire and your trouble, and you go into that fiery furnace of problems and issues, you're not alone. There's somebody in there, the Son of God. Jesus is with you every step of the way through your fiery trials and troubles. He loves you, and he is with you through your storm. And like this, you could be on fire, you could be experiencing trouble, but no burn, no burn, no flame. You can get through the fiery flame, unscathed. As we go down to verse 27, and they saw these men whose bodies, the fire had no power. The hair of their head was not singed, nor were their garments affected. And the smell of fire was not on them. Now that's incredible. They were not singed. They were not blackened. They didn't smell like the fire that went through. 28, the king spoke and he said, his servants who trusted him, they said, have frustrated the king's word and yielded their bodies that they should not serve nor worship any God except their own God. Therefore, I make a decree that any people, nation, or language which speaks anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut into pieces, and their houses shall be made ash heap, because there is no other God who can deliver like this. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Promotion promotion. You can receive promotion. You can receive promotion through your problems, through your trials, through your troubles. I believe in God. I am not going to fall by the wayside. I am not going to bow down. I am not going to turn to this. I am not going to turn to that. I am going to turn to Jesus. I'm going to ask him to help me. I'm going to ask him to strengthen me. When you have troubles and trials and problems and issues, Understand that there is someone who paid the ultimate price for you, that you can stand in the fire. You can stand and have peace beyond all understanding. He says, I have given you and granted you peace. Now his peace is totally different from the world's peace because his peace, you can call upon it and supernaturally it is already inside of you to where you can handle any trouble, any trial, and any problem, all you have to do is to choose to act on it. If you have a problem or a trial, you choose and say, Lord, you are going to help me have peace through this. You are going to help me be calm. You are going to help me stand when I need to stand. You are going to help me speak when I need to speak. When you call upon him and call upon his promise, it will strengthen you every bit and every inch of the way. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will with uphold you with my righteous right hand. His strong hand, the right hand. Understand that he loves you and he will hold you and he will strengthen you through every trial, every fire, through every problem. And that's when you understand when those things come your way, you can call to Jesus. You can say, Lord, I got this. You are gonna help me with this and we're gonna get through this because I know that you are with me through my trials and through the storm and the problems of life that come my way. I can handle them. I can do all things that through Christ which strengthens me. Claim that scripture. 
I hide his word within my heart that I may not sin against God. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We rejoice every day because we know what our Lord has done for us. I encourage you, be strengthened and understand that he is with you through your flames and you're not going to be singed. You can make it through okay. Well, I never want to close a service without anybody ever going away without the opportunity of accepting the Lord Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. Or, if there's somebody going through a trial, a trouble, an issue, this is their time to get right. Well, at this time, I'm going to go ahead and ask everybody if we just bow our heads and we go to the Lord in prayer. And this is your time to talk to Him. Your time to speak to Him. Your time to get right. Your time to ask Him into your heart. So, at this time, everyone bow their heads. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we understand that you are a great God. We understand what you did on the cross. We understand that we need you. Lord, forgive us of our sins. Forgive us where we fall short. Lord, we thank you for all that you're doing. We're thanking you for all that you're about to do in our lives. So we claim what you did on the cross. We claim that you conquered the grave. We claim that you arose. Lord, we ask you to be into our heart, be into our life. Forgive us of our sins. Lord, from this day forward, we want to walk with you. We want to be with you. We want you to be Lord over our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for forgiving us. Thank you, Jesus, for walking with us. And thank you, Jesus, for being with us. In Jesus' blessed name we pray, amen. Well, I hope that was entertaining, and I can't wait to see you next Sunday. You better come to church, and don't forget to eat some donuts, drink some coffee, and also uh, drink some orange juice, hug on each other's neck, and most of all, I love you. Have a wonderful Sunday. God bless you.